guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day today today i wanted to share with you my favorite apps that i love to use i have like a really cool mix of apps there's some productivity and organization apps i have one that's really really cool it's an astrology app that my friend introduced me to chef's kiss amazing and then i have like a photo editing app that's really cool um where you can express your creativity more so just an eclectic mix of apps <laughs> i don't really have a lot of apps because i try to be really mindful of the time and energy that i spend on my phone and online in general so these really are like the top apps that i feel like are worth my energy and my time okay let's dive straight in so the first app that you guys know i'm obsessed with i've mentioned them so many times it's becoming an obsessive problem <laughs> it's identity so um i usually use identity on my computer but they also have an app so this is a tool that helps you to simplify and organize everything that you do online and really keep your like virtual life clutter free which i think is so important and i just can't believe that this wasn't invented before um i think it's so cool i completely like transformed my workflow and my productivity because my online world before was so cluttered i had so many like on my computer so many bookmarks and open tabs and it was just a disaster and now um it's just a lot more mindful if that makes sense and with identity you basically save all these websites and pages as tiles and then you can organize them into different categories so if i'm working on let's say say hey happiness i just go into that category and that allows me to not get super distracted and it's a lot more helpful i know where everything is my passwords are saved in there i can really quickly search for whatever tile i'm looking for um, but you can also connect it with your google calendar um, so on the side it's going to show you like today's agenda basically and then they also have notes which i started using a lot more recently um, it's just a great way for me to write either my to-do lists or any ideas that i have a grocery list for example i write video ideas that i get sporadically <laughs> and um, any like poems that i'm writing or if i'm reading a book and i really like a line or a poem or something i write it down i'm just trying to use the notes app on my phone a lot less and just have it more organized and <laughs> more mindful i guess um so yeah i love identity um, I will link all of these apps down below. Again, I use it mostly on my computer, but the app is also amazing and I'm getting into it more and more. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Okay, moving on to the next one. It's Kunicam. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It sounds weird to me, but Kunicam is basically an editing app where you can create like a more vintage film look, which I love. Um, I use Visco for editing my photos or I use Kunicam and obviously we all know Visco, we love it, it's great, no need to mention it, but I haven't heard many people talk about Kunicam, <laughs> sounds so weird, but um, I love it. So you basically have different like albums of effects, so you have basic, analog, vintage, Fuji, Kodak, Polaroid, and many many others there's also some really good black and white ones and then you have an option to add different light effects dust which i really like they have some really really good dust effects that actually look real um and then you can add like a date to really make it look like a polaroid or a photo taken on film um i have a film camera and i feel like just like it's just a different feeling when you look at a photo and obviously this is not going to be the same but it's very it's similar like it's it's there so uh yeah i love this app it's so great i have a paid version um but there's a free one and i know that you have quite a few effects available i think if you have the free version um but i think it's worth it to pay for it because i use it all all the time and i love it and i just like to be creative when it comes to taking and editing pictures it's one of my hobbies so um this is just like a cool simple way to do it um and i think it's great okay next up we've got like a health 
diet exercise app which i think is really really good and i also haven't heard many people talk about it and it's called reshape so reshape basically offers you a personalized workout and meal plan based on your goals and your diet so i personally use it as just a way to stay healthy and stay on track with my healthy life and also just to like tone up a little bit. They have some really, really good at home workouts from like yoga hit to like 55 plus other ones. And they also have really, really great recipes that I've been trying out recently because I am someone who like, I try a meal, I get obsessed with it and then I eat it all the time and then I get so bored of it that I don't wanna eat. And so I like to keep trying out different um, meals and every single meal that I've tried on Reshape has been really, really good. Plus they're also really easy to make. So if you're not like a chef, you know, you can still make them and they're chef's kiss amazing. You can take a free one minute quiz and they'll create a personal plan that's tailored to you and your goals and that's also like easy to follow plus you can like track your progress and you also receive some like motivational reminders so it's just like a really good app to have to like stay on track continue to stay motivated and have that accountability i feel like especially if you haven't really had a super healthy lifestyle it's sometimes so overwhelming to get into it because you don't even know where to start um so i feel like having an app like this can be really really helpful for a lot of people this app is not just for weight loss like i personally don't use it for that but if that is something that you want then they personalize a weight loss plan for you according to your diet preferences and your goals um, and they also have a 28 day weight loss challenge that you can try out if that is something that you want so yeah i think this app is really good and just a great way to kind of kickstart your healthy lifestyle so you can purchase a six month plan and then receive one additional month for free so go to reshape.me slash nika50 and use the code nika50 at checkout and again i'll have the link to that down below let's talk about the astrology app i know not everyone is into astrology i think it's just really fun um i love it i can't help it um my like critical brain is like are you dumb but like my soul is like i'm so here for this so <laughs> the app is called the pattern the reason why this app is so good and i think the best astrology app that i've ever seen and it's so weird that no one talks about it because so good um you basically it's not just about your sun sign obviously you have a whole chart and in with this app you like put in your time of birth and everything and so it's very detailed and it's very specific to you so there's like a few features in this app two of my favorites are basically your pattern which just tells you your different traits um based on your astrology chart and based on different sections of your life so you have like how you are in the world at work your destiny your ideal partner traits relationship experiences your communication like and it goes really into detail so you can read all about it and then you can match with your friends so if they also have an app you can match with them and see your compatibility and again it explains everything in detail or you can create uh, like a custom profile and put in someone's information to see if you're compatible. So if you're like dating a new person and you find out their time, you know, you can check it out. <laughs> it's so good. Like this app is so good. I don't take like astrology super seriously. I don't live my life based on what my astrology chart says or what my like predictions say based on my sun sign. Um, I don't necessarily think that's the best. I mean, do what you want, obviously, but it's just like fun to look at. And yeah, I really recommend checking it out. It's really fun. Moving on. <laughs> okay, I've been reading a lot recently. And I mean, I've been a reader for a few years now, but I really got into it this month because I did um, like a seven day challenge of reading one book a month not a month, a day, which I will post next week because I filmed the whole experience. But through that challenge, I discovered Scribed. So it's S-C-R-E, no, I can't spell in English because like the E and I confuse me because it's the opposite in Slovenian almost. 
Anyway, it's S-C-R-I-B-D. Here we go. <laughs> it's another subscription app. It's like 9.99 euro a month, but they have a free 30 day trial, which I'm using right now. Um, and they have audiobooks, they have ebooks, they also have magazines, podcasts, sheet music, snapshots, documents. I just use audiobooks and books. Um, and pretty much almost every single book that I've wanted to read has been on here apart from one and i have kindle and i used to have an audible subscription and this is so much better and it's so much cheaper like it's insane i don't know why i was using audible for example because here you pay 9.99 euros a month and you can read and listen to any audiobook or ebook that's on here and there's a lot and it's just so good so if you're like an avid reader I really recommend trying this out um, and again there's a 30 day free trial so it's a great way to try it out and see if you like it. A really good tip if you want to get into reading is to have like a physical book or an ebook and then also get the audiobook so that when you're reading it you can listen to it. It's just a completely different experience and then also if you go like to the grocery store you can just listen to it so you're like continuing reading it even though you, you're not physically reading. It really helps me to like read more books and to stay on top of my like reading goals and all that. So I think this is a great app to try out. Okay, an honorable mention when it comes to productivity and organization apps, Notion. If you don't have Notion yet, I don't know what you're doing or why you're not using it. I will link my Notion tour down below because I went into detail, but I mostly use it for like my weekly and daily to-do list and also my um, budget for the month. So I use it every single day. And then with Google Calendar, I just wanted to mention that like you can include it in the like far left page of your iPhone. I forgot what it's called. And it actually shows you your whole schedule for the day so you don't even have to open the app which saves me a lot of time <laughs> and i basically just use google Cal google calendar to schedule in anything that's um, at a specific time like an appointment a meeting anything like that so just a little quick mention i feel like i can't make my favorite app video without these two because i really use them every single day okay the next app is a travel app so it's you know not going to be super useful at the moment but when we do get to travel again it's an amazing app that i use all the time it's called skyscanner so it basically searches for the cheapest flights and one of my favorite options on there that I used to use all the time is where you can you know pick the airport that you're gonna fly out of fly from um, and then just choose any destination I think that's how it's called and then it basically gives you all the different flight options to just random parts of the world or different cities and it gives you like the cheapest options so when I would get like the need to travel I would just use that and just be like where do I want to go? Let's see. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's just a really cool app and I used to use it all the time. So really recommend trying it out. And then lastly, another honorable mention, Pinterest. And hear me out. I know you know Pinterest. We all know it. But the reason why I wanted to mention it in this video is because I use it every day as a form of like manifesting or just like keeping my goals in my mind. So I created a whole Pinterest board of my goals. Um, so there's not too many pictures on there so I can go through the whole board and really just visualize, you know, how I'm living and how my life is amazing. <laughs> and then I also have a board that's called my life where I just basically every day I go th through Pinterest and I just pin different photos that kind of represent the type of life that I want to live. Um, and it's just a really good daily reminder of like my goals and where I'm headed and also not just of what I want in the future but of what I get to create every single day um, to just move towards a life that makes me the happiest and yeah that's it for all of my apps again I will link all of them in the description box um, so you can check them out, try them out for yourself. Definitely comment down below your favorite app. I would love to try out some different ones. Maybe I'm like really missing out and I don't even know it. So definitely let me know and I will let you go now. So have a great day and I'm going to see you soon.